National Monument. It's a long name. That's one reason I gave out one of these little tokens to you because it's an eight-letter name. It's tough to learn, but all, most all of you, probably all of you, are familiar with it because it's the, the backdrop of the Coachella Valley towards the south. Santa Rosa Mountains and Santa Cena Mountains. Geologically, they're one range, but they divide in Palm Canyon. So Cathedral City, uh, Rancho Mirage, Palm Desert, La Quinta, and south are below the Santa Rosa Mountains. And then Palm Springs is below the Santa Cena Mountains. Santa Cena is quite a bit taller than the Santa Rosa Mountains. Um, Santa Rosa Mountains are lower. They are where the bighorn sheep live. So between the two mountain ranges, you have a lot of great opportunities to um, explore and see roadrunners as well as a lot of other things. Um, there's a brochure in the back. Does anybody have one handy up here? Can I borrow yours? We just got this off the press. And please uh, take one, take more if you like. We have boxes of them. There's some pretty pictures on this side and some text. But on the inside, you'll see that there's a nice map. And, um, in this map, here's I-10 and the Santa Santa Mountains, Santa Rosas. We just like left out desert hot springs like it doesn't exist. With an emphasis on different access points in the National Monument. We're managed cooperatively by Bureau of Land Management, that's who I work directly for, and the Forest Service, and we have a friends group that supports us as well, with interpretive programs, and they help organize the funding for this brochure. My office is out off Indian Avenue and I-10, I work out of the BLM office, right down the road from Pilot Gas. That's why my hair is always kind of messy because it's very, very windy out there. Even today, it's really windy out there. Um, but we also have a visitor center, which is the best place to learn more about the National Monument. And how many of you have been there before? It's on Highway 74, mm -hmm. just above uh, the Bighorn Sheep Institute and across the road from Bighorn Development. Right before you start going to the hill. So do stop in there, that's where the best place is to get information and you can go online as well. We also just came out with this brochure, Palms to Pine Birding and Nature Trail. I brought a few of these today for you bird watchers out there. And our biggest ticket is our trails map. Where did I leave that? Thanks. This is the only thing I brought today is for sale that we've talked about so far. But this is a, it's about a $7 purchase. But it's a fantastic trails map. So if you hike, this is something you might want. But if you get a lot of visitors and you don't want them to hang around your house all the time, <laughs> that's another good reason to have one. It's got a nice legend. And it's like a topographic map with all the trails in Santa Rosa and San Cena Mountains. Again, we left out Desert Hot Springs. Like it doesn't exist. Um, it's two-sided. But it's waterproof, tear-proof. It's really a nice map. Even normally people have to put all the different topographic maps together. I don't have any for sale today, but they are available at our visitor center on number 74. And I'll leave this here on the table. Actually, I'll pass it around if any of you want to look at it. You're welcome to. The hardest thing about maps, of course, is folding them up the right way. There you go. 